Ya. teachers on the stairs as well and it's a joy to come back to my school. I remember being here on this podium the last time six to seven years back when we used to have class assemblies and as a class we all used to come up, put up a show and then leave. So that was where I started speaking first and now that I've come back, yes I did dream, yes I did want to come back with a crown on my head because that is the kind of glory that I feel our school deserves. I think when I left school, it wasn't exactly an easy journey to where I have been. My first ever ramp show as a model started right here in this auditorium as a fashion study student when I first walked down wearing my own garment. But after that, I knew that this is what I wanted to do all my life. So. I know it's going to be very difficult, I know it's, it seems very difficult in this moment right now because I've been where all of you are right now, but trust me, it's going to get easier as you have years coming down you. As a type 1 diabetic, I take insulin injections 4 to 5 times a day and if I can do it with that, then I think all of you sitting here also can do anything you want to set your heart out at. Seven years of trying to become a Miss India, seven years of trying to have this crown, this sash of being called as India, the honor of being called as India, because I believed first that Chirak deserves that glory, then I believed that Hyderabad deserves that glory, and now I believe that India deserves that glory. And with the kind of upbringing, the kind of values that were instilled in me by our school, our campus, I have that strong firm belief that wherever all of you want to head to in life, just don't ever stop giving gratitude to these roots that you come from because it is these roots, this foundation that you are building right now that will actually define who you are as a human being. And with the kind of teachers, with the kind of friends I had back in school, I know that those are the best memories of my life. And that is why I always, always wanted to give back to this beautiful community that I am a part of called as being a Chirakian. It's not going to be very easy. You will have people calling out at you. You will have people saying the wrong things for you. But what you need to believe in is that if you believe in yourself, like I believe in myself, and it is with my mother's health here, because she believed that if her daughter can dare to dream a dream that very few can achieve, then why not anybody else? And I always say this, with or without type 1 diabetes, that the limit
very happy to be back at my school which is Chirek International in Kondapur and although I have come back after six years I still feel like I was just here yesterday and I was just here in that audience of children watching somebody else come on stage and giving us that motivational inspiration that we all needed. I give all credit to my school for making me who I am as an individual and this crown on my head it belongs to my school first, it belongs to our city Hyderabad first and I will make sure that I bring more pride to the country, more pride to the city when I represent India internationally at Miss Grand International on 25th of October and I'm very happy that all the students, all the teachers of my school were here today to be a part of my journey and to support me even in the future to come. Thank you. I was in Chirek from the year 2002 to 2016 but before that I also did my pre-primary education which is LKG and UKG in Chirek only. So all my 17, 18 years, the first 18 years of my life I was in Chirek only and I have had so many teachers, so many pair, uh, people to influence me when to become the person that I am today that it is these roots and this foundation that I believe have taken me so far in life. So although we don't have pageant winner teachers in my school, I do ha I have had a lot of beautiful teachers in my school that I have looked up to for their education, for the way they used to be around us. But the one teacher that I always remember with my full heart is Sandra ma'am. She taught me in the first grade and she was the first teacher who actually believed in me because when I used to fail in division in school, she believed in me and she told me that it's okay, keep trying and you will get better, you will learn one day what has to be done. And if it wasn't for Sandra ma'am on and the teachers after that, then I don't think with each test also that I failed in class, I wouldn't have been able to get better. And that is what I learned and inculcated in my everyday life. Uh, 15 years of schooling, which is till the 10th grade, I was a first bench. I always used to like to be in the front listening very carefully to what my teacher said but during the last two years when it started to hit me that this memory of mine will suddenly be oh, over, this chapter will be over in life, I decided to become a backbencher but I never let go of my studies. I always had my intention to have good marks, to be a good student because the aim in life was to always do better in education and to have that foundation of having a good education for myself in life. Um, Prachi has been a great student. She has been in Chirek uh, for all her student life. She joined in PP2 and then she passed out in grade 12. So which was a very uh, good journey for her, I hope, and for us also. Prachi has been an exemplary student. She worked very hard and uh, she has done very well in fashion studies as well. And I'm, we are very, very proud of her that she has finally uh, achieved what she had dreamt for. Congratulations, Patsy, once again.